Hey guys, it's cool again with another ROM review and this time I've got NVKY ROM SGS3 slash 4 JB 4.2 ROM for Galaxy Ace. Whew, it's a uh, really huge na name for ROM and well it has a lot of features for also uh, to live up to that. Okay, uh, so uh, let's get into it. Here is the lock screen which is one of the many customizable list of lock screens available in this one. Okay, uh, first of all something about this. Um, I recently reviewed the Ultima ROM for Galaxy S3. Uh, you can go to my reviews for that one also. And um, well, this one really makes me uh, remember that one because that is uh, the most feature filled ROM for S3 and it is stock based. This one is also stock based and it is also feature filled. So let me tell you, this is really feature filled. So uh, let's get into settings first, and uh, at that also you have option of uh, which settings you want. Okay, this is uh, kind of like you have four, three different types of settings. Like this is the normal settings with a swipe function. It has four screens: one, two, three, and four. Yeah, that is the four screens uh, with all these settings. That is the normal. The first page has all the normal settings, which are what we can see in the normal S3 uh, Ace ROM. That is a stock version. The other screen has all these app list, which is kind of like a quick, uh, uh, quick shortcut for every app. It is so it's really neat. Again, now. The third screen has these uh, settings, that is the customization settings, which well includes the features available in these ROMs. Pretty neat, uh, it uh, has a lot of one. The last screen is the about phone page, which has all the details about this phone. Okay, it is not 4.2.2, it is based on 2.3.6, which is the latest stock ROM for Galaxy Ace. Okay. Based on KD7 uh, build, that is the build, the name of the ROM that is NV, NVKYJB. Pretty neat. Okay, so uh, let me show you guys the other type of uh, system settings. It is the same uh, with tabs. That is like in the S3 or S4 and Note 2. You have tabs for each. No sliding. So if you are more fan of a sliding interface it's a uh, tapped interface this one is better if you are a fan of a sliding interface you can go for that one so pretty neat again so uh, let's get into what this is you see here is the um, hola launcher which is the stock launcher for this rom okay uh, these are the list of apps available at the start okay um, not much uh, different about the apps or anything like that. It's pretty neat. It has S3 style the music player, which is pretty good. Uh, my file that is CM style, I guess the icon reminded me of CM. Very neat again. News and weather, OG YouTube download. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, le here is the status bar, which is again really customized. What you see here is the uh, quick settings, which are all these settings available. Pretty neat. If you close that, you have again three tabs in the notification space. Okay, first tab is a notification which I have customized. You have the notification uh, picture, uh, my name, and a call button. And it does have these uh, um, quick settings again. Okay, these CM style quick settings or like the uh, Cyanogen mode style quick settings. So it's always there. What you see here is a brightness slider at the bottom, so that's really innovative. Okay, uh, the new ROMs for the S3 and uh, S4 has this slider here, which I would say is a bit uh, inconvenient, but this one integrates it into the uh, bottom bar, so it's really neat. Let's go to toggles, which again shows the customizable toggles. You have custom list of toggles, okay, pretty neat. You can uh, enable, disable these. I don't know what the function really is. Uh, let me see. Now, sliders are the volume sliders for the ROM and its um, various application. Pretty neat. Uh, it has three different settings. Uh, this is the notification area. It's really awesome, actually. 
it has gone through a lot of change okay uh, i have reviewed this rom uh, previously but i have it titled it as the nvkv nvky rom so uh, that's something i would like to address now this is really an awesome rom the battery life is pretty neat uh, it is a stock rom so i'm just going to go for settings normal okay now let's go to the features these are apps okay here is the features so in the features section we have uh, the first of all is the status bar settings which includes all of these settings which is um, clock tweaks which is for the clock uh, show clock center clock clock color uh, am pm style text size custom font pretty neat battery options you can change the battery icon uh, cm battery uh, height or show so pretty neat again in that region you have to uh, restore the status bar for it to work fully so yeah you have to do that one okay let's restore and then show you guys what that is okay battery text size uh, text size you can increase or decrease I have selected less so yeah custom fund text size etc etc color settings you can change the colors uh, it is set on automatic color which uh, decreases or it changes color when it is almost repeated to red etc so pretty neat pretty cool okay now uh, the other from battery bar you even have an option for battery bar now it shows okay that white bar is the battery bar neat <laughs> okay uh, signal options this signal you have uh, different styles like uh, the text strength uh, available that's cool color settings for that also great status bar background that's something uh, you normally have to do on your own on a stock based 2.3 rom this one has you can change the background color to anything you can have a solid color or a, a custom picture something like that it's really, really neat again okay notification power widget which are these settings pretty neat uh, you can change settings for that it is kind of like in cm cyan engine mode 7 pretty neat again now uh signal options cell bar background we have covered that uh to soft button you can have soft button there so uh it's something which is really neat okay now lock screen settings i uh, which i sh some uh, the lock screen i have already shown you guys the lock screen which is with this so this one is one of the lock screen available in this rom okay the next one would be style option let's go to style option and uh, lock screen style okay uh i am using epic which is the one you just saw we have circle fascinate glass circle is like the note uh style of lock screen which is well pretty neat you can use that fascinate is uh the jigsaw style i think let's see yeah this is the jigsaw style like lock screen uh it also has glass which uh has slide left or right to a loop open yeah uh, it has a few options available, so it's pretty neat. Uh, Cyanogen mode options also great again. Now, uh, what else? You have uh, widget options, unlock unlock options, etc. Well, a uh, few of the options only work if you are using Cyanogen mode cell lock screen. Again, great. Now, launcher settings are the holo settings, which are pretty standard. Nothing uh, fancy about that. Uh, CPU settings is for uh, is a link. To the um, no close GPU CPU uh, control. Okay, so you can uh, overclock this if you have the right kernel. DSP setting profile on a profile is where you can change the profile back picture, which is this one, and uh, give a name. Pretty neat, right? Yeah, pretty neat. Now, uh, pick notification bar, which I just showed you guys the picture, you can change it here. Pretty neat now swapper it does have swapper so if you want to use that it is it has it built in we need again now uh what else and uh, you have two themes here and uh, a few other themes in the forum so uh you follow the instructions there and you can use uh any theme you want okay so what we are using now is the jb theme as you can see it's all blue everything right you also can use S3 theme or S4 theme, which is available in the forum. You have to do whatever uh, it is set there to install it. So it's really neat. So these are the features available for this ROM. 
so it's really neat um, as I said it really makes me remember the Ultima ROM because it has a lot of features yeah, stock based right really neat it has a lot of um, battery life uh, battery is pretty neat uh, it does uh, give you one day of battery life uh, in moderate use or my use okay pretty neat again so I guess that is it about the ROM let me show you guys the boot animation okay um, so here is the boot animation you can see the boot, you can hear the boot sound it is S style boot animation with Galaxy Ace written there so that can't be bad okay will need uh, it has the uh, it, about the ROM again it has a lot of features it's really neat ROM uh, yeah I think that is it about the ROM so see you guys